Victoria Velasquez Vincent is officially making her comeback to pageantry at Miss Universe Philippines 2024 and everyone is losing their minds, myself included. If you guys remember, Victoria previously competed at Miss Universe Philippines in 2021 where she managed to finish as a second runner-up obtaining the title of Miss Universe Philippines Charity or whatever that entails. There was no specific role attached to the position, however, she was supposed to be the queen who was going to oversee the charitable activities for the organization for the remaining part of the year. During that time, she continued her advocacy about architecture here in the Philippines, as well as overseeing some of the victims of some of the typhoons here in the country. Well, just a few hours ago, Victoria announced on her Instagram through a cryptic reel that she was joining the universe once again. So of course we know that she has to compete first at a national level, which implies that Victoria is coming back from Miss Universe Philippines. However, at this point, it was not clear which part of the country Victoria was going to represent because previously in 2021, she represented Cavite. This time around, there is already a title holder for Cavite. So shortly after the announcement, it was confirmed by Victoria herself that she will be representing Baco Or at Miss Universe Philippines 2024. What can I tell you, not just as a pageant fan, but also as a Victoria Velasquez Vincent fan myself, I am so excited to see her come back. In my opinion, she is going to light a fire under everyone's behinds because Victoria is a great performer, she is a great communicator, she is really invested in her advocacy, and she is honestly just an unproblematic queen. Back in the day when she competed in 2021, a lot of people will give her kind of a backlash because they will say, you know, oh, she grew up abroad, so she's one of the healthies, just coming back to the Philippines, to whatever. But keep in mind that Victoria, back in 2021, had the opportunity to be appointed to represent New Zealand at Miss Universe. And she declined it, quoting that in the future, she still hoped to represent the Philippines at Miss Universe. So I know that although she might have grown abroad and she doesn't live in the Philippines permanently, representing her country fairly is one of the things that is definitely close to her heart. Now, there are some changes. If you remember back in the day, Victoria was training with The Camp, which is the same organization that prepared Celeste Cortesi for Miss Universe Philippines. But this time around, Victoria has shifted to Aces and Queens, which is one of the major training camps in the Philippines and you know that infamously they have this reputation of their girls always doing great at uh, Miss Universe Philippines. So maybe this is a strategic move. Also, it seems like Victoria has signed with Origin Management, which is a Cebu-based management agency who also handles the likes of Hannah Arnold, Nicole Borromeo, Ana Valencia, and a lot more queens that we all know and love. So from a fan's perspective, I'm really excited because I know that VVV is going to bring the A game and honestly, this is just going to ignite the competition, it's going to make it more exciting. I know that as of right now, we have some of the fan favorites already that are being selected. Of course, Atisa Manalo coming back to pageantry is is huge news and has really been able to shake the system for everyone to talk about her and root for her. We also have the likes of Miss Ilo Ilo, Alexi Brooks, who has also managed to gather a huge amount of followers and supporters in a really short time, which is impressive for a new queen. But let's not disregard our girl VVV because Victoria is really a threat. Her performance was nothing short of excellent during her time, and I know that this time around she will come back with a new polished, vibrant, and revitalized strategy. I already saw some of the comments on social media. For the most part, people are really excited to see her come back. They are pointing out some of the things that she was criticized for before, such as, you know, to make sure that in terms of makeup and styling, she is really represented herself uh, within her age group because back in the day, some people said that the makeup and the styling was aging her out a little bit. And I think that, of course, those are things that Victoria needs to keep in mind coming back this time around. A few weeks ago, she did post a reel which was kind of cryptic because nobody knew uh, that she was joining, but she did mention that she was reminiscing of her journey, thinking of the things that she would have done differently if she was to join Miss Universe Philippines again. Here we are, so it seems like it was not impossible after all. Now, I don't have any confirmation about this, but rumor is on the streets that Victoria has been in the Philippines since November 2023, preparing and training. Just joining a pageant is not something that you can do suddenly. You need to train and work out and diet for months, and then you need to work on the advocacy and the rollouts and the 
fashion designers and uh, social media stuff so it's just a lot of work which makes me even more excited to know that this girl who is really beautiful really intellectual really just full of substance has prepared a rollout for us pageant fans so let me know in the comment section how do you feel about victoria velasquez vincent joining miss universe philippines once again and out of the three favorites right now who are you currently atisa manalo alexi brooks or victoria velasquez vincent let me know see you guys on the next one